Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Racha Kodash. I want to send double honors unto the elders and apostles at GMS that rule well. Peace, love, and salutation unto the hopeful elect, unto the Akim that are on the highways and the byways, week in and week out, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice for the will and for the name of Yahweh whom the world ignorantly calls God in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So this is going to be a quick in transit, you know, and it's based off of well, something that when we, were, we uh, were on the line, like we briefly but sternly spoke on, you know, the type of reward you'll get in the end. It's based off of the works that you're putting in now, you know, so as, you, as as I have clearly on the screen, you know it um you know it clears it up, which I'm gonna get in get into here in a second. But um just to speak on it real quick, because you have you have certain people, you know, and when, and when I say certain people, I'm only speaking about the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because according to the scriptures, we are the only nation of people that have a chance. Of repentance have a chance of salvation all right no heathen nation is going to be saved all these different heathen nations the most high is going to utterly judge okay but we we as Israelites we have a chance to get salvation right but you have our people that they believe in every deity under the sun every uh, uh, every wind of doctrine under the sun You know They believe in everything Except Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai They believe in everything except the Bible They believe in the things that Esau has written In his constitution Alright the, 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 the history that he teaches in the schools The history that he, he shows you on TV They believe these things Which, which you know Here and there Esau does teach uh, uh, Some true facts but overall, Esau, it says what? He's estranged from the womb uh, and speaking lies, man. But Jake, you know, Jake believes everything that Esau says, the so-called white man says, they believe it to be law. But when it comes to the Holy Scriptures, they find it contemptible. All right? So, hey, there's no way, you know, in, in a comment that they make a lot, is oh well we'll see when the Lord gets back, or I can't wait until the Lord gets back. But, but the the book of Amos, the third chapter, I mean the fifth chapter, Salakia, in the eighteenth verse, it says, "Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord." To what end is it for you? You know, and it all depends on the work that you put in. You know, it says, um, "A sluggard shall be hungry in the time of harvest and shall have nothing." You know, roughly paraphrasing from the book of Proverbs. All right. Hey, so Lord willing, this is edifying. It shouldn't be that long, but whatever the spirit permits, you know, we're going to roll with it. This is the book of Galatians chapter six and verse seven. Be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So it says the most high is not mocked. So you're not going to be able to just do whatever you want to do. You know, you're not going to be able to just be um straight up wicked you know committing all types of iniquities blatantly freely and you don't think there's going to be a consequence you think the most high is going to just without you repenting sincerely repenting you think the most high is going to save you the book is the book of sarat or ecclesiasticus the 21st chapter it tells you uh my son has thou sinned? Has thou sinned? Sin no more, but flee away from sin as from the face of a serpent. You know, and Jake and Jake, they use, you know, um, what do they do? They they sin purposely, they willfully sin every week, every day, and then they pray to God that He forgives them. But they keep doing the same thing over and over again, as it says also in the Book of Sirach, um. He that touches the dead body, or he that washes washes his hands after the touching of a dead body, and then he goeth and returneth to touch the body again, what availeth the washing? 
You see? Jake think they're just going to get some type of pass. The book of uh, um, Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, it says what? That your own sins are going to be your, um, your accusers in that day. So all the work that you think you're putting in, but you're really being just wicked, you, you, you don't have no um, intentions of doing righteousness. You have no intentions of pleasing the Most High. You have no intentions of following His law, statutes, and commandments. And then you, and then you think that the Most High is gonna let you go scot free when it tells you that not, not one sin goes unpunished. You know, we as proclaiming to be men of the Lord and prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we're not even exempt from judgment. We're still hoping to be the elect. You know, we're constantly working and trying to perfect, trying to perfect our craft. So we can please the Heavenly Father, man. As it says in the book of Hebrews, I believe the um, the 10th the chapter, it says we have had fathers of our flesh which, which have corrected us. How much more than the, the Most High who is the Father of Spirits, you know? So hey, no, none of us are going to get off scot-free for Jake to think that they can do whatever the hell they want to do. And then the Most High is still going to save you? You got to be out of your mind, man. You're out of your damn mind. All right? Read knowing it says, For he that soweth to the flesh of the flesh shall... Uh, like you. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. You see? But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap everlasting life. Or reap life everlasting. You see? So where, where where's your investment at? You know? Your investment should be in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. As it says in Matthew, it says that uh lay not your treasures here upon earth where they or where they can be stolen, where thieves can break through. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, man. And you gotta do it sincerely. You know? Jake come with that old that uh, uh hey what it says that they, they they draw nigh, nigh unto him with their mouth but their heart is far from him you know Jake know how to play the part and act like they're godly man but deep down inside they're full of evil and that's why a lot of people can't really uh, um can't understand this truth as it says in the book of John um St. John the third chapter you know it says unless their evil deeds should be reproved because the, the, the truth is going to bring all your, you know, all your um, wickedness to light. All right? You have to become a new creature when you're dealing with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You can't be the same nigga in the world, man. Because then what? You're considered being lukewarm. So, hey, whatever, wherever you invest in, whatever you invest in, that's, that's going to be your reward, man. And if you're familiar with the um, what rewards... You know, that can be a good thing or that can be a bad thing. The Most High can reward unto you uh, plagues, pestilences, sickness, you know, death, a, a gruesome death. Or he can reward unto you salvation. You see, there's a difference. So what do you think the works that you do, what, what do you think is going to be your reward? You no. Know? And then this is you no know, uh, speaking to myself and and you no know, whoever's watching this video. You gotta examine yourself. Are the things that you're doing are is it worthy of you getting salvation, or is it worthy of the Most High uh, saying I never knew thee? Which is a scary feeling if the Most High tells you I never knew thee. Get ye away from me, ye that work iniquity. You see, now I want to get this scripture here in the book of um, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. All right. So this is the book of Second Ezra, and this is very plain and simple, man. Second Ezra, chapter nine, and I'm gonna start from verse five. All right. It says. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Salakia. Salakia about that. All right. It says, and the end is manifest. 
Even so, the times also of the highest had plain beginnings in wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And this is the point that I want to get here in verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. You see? So by your works and by your faith. Because what? Faith without works is dead being alone, man. You have to be putting in works. You have to believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, according to the Holy Scriptures. You have to have faith as the grain of a mustard seed, man. If you don't have faith, it says, hey, it's the, the Scriptures tell you, without faith, it is impossible to please the Most High. So even if you're doing works, you know, if you don't have no faith in the works that you're doing and that Yahweh is a... a um, a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, then what? Your your your, your uh, works are dead, man. They mean nothing. All right? It says, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. No, but the point was, he that is able to be saved by his works and by his faith. What are your works, man? Showing charity. No taking care of the brothers. No uh, um, was it, was it, uh, helping the widows and the fatherless. All right. Doing what the scriptures tell you to do sincerely and, and truthfully. Not doing it grudgingly. Giving alms. All right. These are these are your works, and your works are going to be the thing that justify you in the day of judgment, man. You know, as I say one more time, you know, before I close out, this is not only to who's watching this video, but it's also to myself. Examine yourself. Are the works that you're doing, are they worthy of you getting salvation from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? Because it says what? There's no other name under heaven whereby we must be saved. So think about it. Are you pleasing the Heavenly Father or are you pleasing yourself? Or are you pleasing the world? I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rechav I want to send double honors once again unto the elders and apostles, that great millstone that taught us his truth and that continue to rule well. Peace, love, and salutation unto the hopeful elect, unto the Akim sincerely doing this, doing the work of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, truthfully and sincerely. But that being said, I say a sincere I have a thumb unto the sincere brothers. And shallow